46. Hey! What's up, peeps? Welcome to Rampage Reviews number 101. That's right, 101. Wednesday night edition with special guest, George. <laughs> okay, now I get a serious name. Holy shit. All right, um, we didn't do our genre pick this time. I basically just put 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 up movies on the screen, and he went, "Oh, let's watch that one. That sounds all right." Oh golly, that one looks good. <laughs> 2013 film, Hammer of the Gods. Fucking, I've got almost no glare. That's awesome. Yeah, I think it's just the way. That background oh, is. And I changed the light globe in the fucking uh, thing before. Oh, well, yeah. All right, so Hammer of the Gods, a Viking epic set in 800 AD, if I remember you right, yeah? 800 861. AD? 861 or 816. Oh, I'm, I a, I'm the dyslexic one, but yes. <laughs> you um, the dyslexic, but I'm just stupid. Uh, <laughs> Hammer of the Gods, a low budget Viking film um, with excellent scenery about a Viking prince. Um, who tries to fulfil the wishes of his dying king father and go look for his crazy-ass firstborn brother um, while getting played by his real older brother, which is the second brother, and also somewhere in there comes a stepbrother. Bastard yeah, a child. Bastard child. Is, the rest of it, they put a lot of brothers in this movie. And... Um, and uh, it so, doesn't get confusing though. You know no, who's who. You, you know who's who and stuff, and and it gives you a little intro at the beginning to the main characters. So so this Steiner guy and his um, accomplices, uh, you know, his brothers in arms. Um, one of the guys you will recognise from the TV show Vikings. Um, he should stick to the TV show Vikings because this movie doesn't and won't make him go very far. Uh, Good movie altogether. Yeah, it was though. It, this movie was um, was very very watchable. We didn't get up out our seats. He didn't go on his phone as much as he usually does, um, and it had quite quite a likable cast of characters. Grim was it? Grim. Grim was a nutcase. Grim, Grim was cool. Grim was cool. Yeah. He was an angry midget basically. Very 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 upset angry midget. Yes, very angry midget. Um, got a shout out to um, uh, James Ferguson too for putting me onto this film. Um, I Thank always shout, 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 shout out. Thank you, <laughs> oh, oh. Um, Also, this movie actually makes you want to scream a lot as well, like a Viking. Um, it's it doesn't depict Vikings as you normally picture them. They've all got English accents and and some with bad American accents, um, so on so forth. There's no continuity in the in the in the in the plot line or anything like that. Like, you don't see him eat or shit or anything human. Um, but, uh, oh, they sleep once. There's two sets of titties. No, they got working on. Um, yeah. There's two sets of titties, um, but the main female lead in it is very attractive, so she suckers you in with the hope that she's going to get naked and fuck, and the last scene she... of her gave him a massive boner. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Very, very, very... Very okay. watchable film. Decent action scenes. Um, no real hardcore gore. There's an intestine, and that's about it, and a horse head. Yeah, no, I was happy with it. It yeah. was alright. Did well. Five out of ten from me, um, because I couldn't give it a four and a half, like the rest of the world has. Six thousand of them. Yeah, five out of ten here. But I'm actually a solid five out of ten. Then I think solid is my dick. <laughs> um, critics are the same. Four out of ten. We're out of here, peeps. Catch you on the next <laughs> Catch up.